In this video, I'm going to give you an incredible, incredible defense for defending trips formations. And that's any formation that is a trips type of set. We're going to be walking you through one of my favorite coverage defenses in the entire game out of the Big Nickel over G. This is um, an excerpt from my new Big Nickel over G defensive ebook. If you want to get my full Big Nickel over G defensive guide, it's going to be updated in the Patreon membership today. Uh, we've got a ton of material uh, to release to. We've got incredible pressure. I got eight gap pressure um, little DT nanos that people don't know about in this formation there's so many good things that you can do but anyways let's get into the video I want to give you a really good trips defense today and it comes to us out of the big nickel over G we're in the New York Giants playbook and we're just going to flick our right joystick to the left one time and that's gonna put us in the slot cornerback package now as a general rule I run my big nickel auto flip off auto alignment to base align ball in our defense to play ball and option defense on conservative you don't have to do that i like to do that i think it's better um, this way because i kind of always know where my players are and it's a symmetrical front so it does help significantly now what we're going to do is we're going to put the cover one hole in our audibles and then uh, my general audibles are cover three buzz match cover six trap and then cover nine so you see here those are my audibles and then i'm going to come out in any zone play you need to come out in the zone play but any zone coverage uh will do the trick and what we're going to do is so i'm going to come out and just like cover two so the setup is actually really simple so when we go to cover three buzz match you might be saying as i have that unfortunately cover three match does not work against trip sets it doesn't match trips formations and you would be accurate in that assessment so i'll show you what i mean so if i go to cover three buzz match you'll see that if i try to run a corner route to uh, rob gronkowski i should have a decent chance um, to be able to hit this corner route to the right so you'll see here the seam flat does nothing and as you can see i'm able to hit the corner route so it doesn't match but there's a little trick in the game that most people don't know about that can actually turn on some incredible matching principles into this game um, now real quick i just want to show one other thing cover four um, so if i was in cover four and i'll just create it here like cover four quarters or cover four palms this is a cover four palms ex excerpt um cover four does match trip sets but it doesn't match it very well. You'll see here that this corner route to Gronkowski, um, you know, if he's got a little bit better route running, I can still kind of complete that. And then the other thing that I want to really show though real quick is the bigger problem is let's say you get a route combination like this and you try to play quarters against it. Typically it's not going to work out too well because you'll see here that they look like they're gonna guard him and they, they kind of don't. It's really more of the fact that he's able to catch up with to him. But trust me, if you have a good player there, that's gonna be open. So the defense I'm gonna give you today is a cover four match defense essentially, but it is a hot routed version of it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna audible, or we're gonna, you can just come out and cover three match when you see trips, it's fine. Um, but basically our setup is we're going to uh, outside quarter our solo receiver we're going to inside quarter our safety on that left hand side of the screen we're going to deep half the safety on the right side of the screen and then we're going to outside quarter the outside guy so it goes quarter quarter half quarter 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 half quarter that's how you want to set this up and then basically other than that what I like to do is user this defender savage so if you wanted to, you could bluff blitz your defensive tackle. That'll help a lot with the running back route. If you wanted to put a vert hook on the other side, that would be really good, really helpful as well, just for over the middle coverage. And then you're rushing two. Um, you could rush that vert hook is not super important, but it can be helpful. So if they have post ups, I'd rush three. If they don't have post ups, I would rush two. Um, and anyways, this is what it looks like. Okay. Now I want to show you something. So what's really cool about this is that same corner route that I was able to complete on cover three match to Gronkowski. You'll see that I'm not going to be able to hit it. It's going to look like I can, but my guy comes all the way over and can potentially match this, uh, can potentially match this corner route. So I'll show it to you again, quarter, quarter, half, 
quarter. And then if you wanted to, you could show blitz. You could do some kind of creative things uh, with this. But basically, the quarter on the left side of the screen will basically defend Gronkowski wherever he goes. So you'll see he's going to come and kind of run right at the perfect angle. And a lot of times he'll catch up to him. My guy's a little slow, but a lot of times he will be able to catch up to him. If you're really having, I'm going to give you an alternate defense as well if you're having this issue. This is why I like to have cover one hole. With cover one hole, you're going to notice that my slot corner is manned up on that number two receiver. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, quarter. We're going to go inside quarter to the safety on the right side of the screen now and then outside quarter on the right side. And then what I like to do is take my um, safety on this left side. You can leave him in man coverage on the running back. And then you just want to have like a curl flat defender to the right side of the screen just in case they run like a little zig or something underneath to that left side guy. And then you got this three wreck over the middle. And now what you'll see is he has a little bit better leverage on Gronkowski. So if they're really abusing a corner route, this is something you can go to if, they're, if you're not able to get there. And you'll see that he's going to basically run the route for him. And a lot of times if you click on to him, that will be an interception. Now what's even cooler, I think, is this. So let's say that I run kind of like a, a, a post to the backside guy. And I'm going to go back to my zone defense. So if I run a post to the backside guy, and these are my adjustments, typically we know this year that deep skinny posts can be problematic against a, um, against a cover two, okay? Well, what you'll see with how this play works is in this trips formation, he's gonna get isolated one-on-one, -on -one, but you'll notice that that quarter, especially if we shade our coverage, um, especially if we shade our coverage inside, he will be able to defend that at a pretty decent level. So boom, boom, boom. You can shade inside if you want to, show blitz. And what you'll get with this, again, if I run a like a skinny pose, kind of bunch trail style of play, you'll see right here that this quarter is going to match him pretty dang good, okay? And so that's, that's a real beautiful uh, piece there on that match coverage, in my opinion. And then the, the last thing that I wanna show you is let's say we run like a skinny post um, and we run like a little bit of a slant post concept combo like this, okay? This is kind of popular. So what you can do is again, you might think, well, there's, you know, that inside quarter is not gonna help with the post and you know, the post is gonna basically be isolated, right? Well, if you watch this closely, you'll see that slant gets taken. And then look at that skinny post up top. It's covered very, very well. Again, especially if you shade your coverage inside. This also really helps a lot if they have route running ability. So if you're playing somebody that is using a route chemistry, this is a very helpful uh, tool. So again, quarter, quarter, half, quarter. And then from there, I like to take this guy and put him in a bluff blitz. Oops. And then this guy over here typically is going to go in a vert hook. And then I'll use her over the middle of the field. And I'm just going to try to force feed the post. But what you'll see, and Godwin's a good route runner, right? But what you'll see here is nothing. You see, it looks like he's going to beat him. And then my guy's going to catch up to him and get a, a KO or a pick animation. Normally, he doesn't beat him that bad, I will tell you. Um, normally, it's completely locked up. I'll show it to you one more time just for reference. And then I'm going to talk about what to, uh, well, in the ebook, we talk a lot more about what you can do in a situation where they're going to motion. Um, one of the things that I want to point out is if they motion, you are in um, a match coverage. So what you can easily do is just re-audible to cover three match if they if they, if they they motion into two wide receivers. That's the easiest thing, and that's normally what I do. But anyways, what you'll see, that skinny post, nine times out of ten is not going to get open against that. It's very random that that will get open against that quarter defense. So you and you can you don't have to be in cover three match to do this. You can do this out of cover one hole. Um, like I said, so like if you wanted to, one of the cool parts about cover one hole is you're going to get pretty decent man coverage. And what's also really cool about big nickel, in my opinion, is how the formation aligns. And so you see, you get really good alignment, right? So I can inside quarter this backside safety here, and then you can kind of make a decision. I like to outside quarter out there. I like to outside. I love the quarters. Those three quarters are really, really, really good. 
Um, but what you could also do is let's say you want to have man coverage on, um, or let's say you want to have like a, a curl flat defender over here on the left side, um, you know, and then maybe you want to have like a, you know, a curl flat defender over here, and then you have a bluff blitzer for the running back. You know, that's something you can do. And this coverage is very good. And you'll see right here, I mean, just where are you going to throw? I mean, where are you really going to throw? As you can see, the defense just locked down. So this is my favorite uh, trips defense in the game. Now I want to give you one pro tip uh, for formations like trips tight end or Trey Y flex. Again, this is any trips in the game. So it's trips, trips tight end, Trey, Y off trio. It works for all of those. One thing, one little caveat I wanted to give you today for trips tight end type sets. Everything I, everything I said in the video is exactly the same in terms of how I wanted to do it. Um, you're going to quarter, um, I would, what I would do anyways, is I would quarter, you could, and if you're playing trips tied in, it's a little bit different because you can actually bring this guy down and roll him into a deep half, which I think is pretty decent. Um, so you could do something like this, but with trips tied in, you don't have to worry as much about that solo receiver running like a skinny post because he's a tight end. So what I like to tell people is take that slot corner and man him up on the tight end and then drop a cloud flat over here on the right with a three wreck. And now you see that this is, you know, pretty decent little coverage here. You might want to drop a purple to that side, but now your tight end is going to be bracketed. Your crosser will never get open and you see how good this is. So this is my favorite, favorite defense in the game for trips tight end sets. I think it's one of the better ones. Thanks for watching the video. And if you guys have any questions about the defense, I would really encourage you to get into the Patreon and grab the defensive guide. It's really, really in depth. And there's going to be a ton of material coming out in the next week or so about coverages. We've got a lot, all the pressures and the run defenses and stuff that's coming out today. And then next week we'll have all of the coverages for you. Um, we do have some basic coverage defenses for bunch or trips or popular sets. But then we also have kind of our match stuff as well as some of our other stuff. But this right here is, like I said, it's my favorite defense right now because there's so much you can do with it. There's there's so much adaptability, so much pressure you can send. You can send the, it's got it's got the best pressure concepts in Madden 22, and nobody nobody even has even you know kind of just my opinion, but nobody's even scratched the surface of what you could do, and even myself uh, from a from a pressure perspective. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, let me know.